Hey guys, it's Paul, and if you have these wonderful E3D Revo nozzles, I have a quick tip for you. Uh, right here, these are the 0.4 nozzles, and uh, last night I installed the 0.8 nozzle inside one of my machines, and I skipped a very important step. <laughs> and when I was doing the first layer, I heard a lot of grinding and awful sounds over there. So let me tell you what that was. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. So first of all, let me start with me. My name is Paul and this is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm big into 3D printers, upgrades, filament, you name it, anything with 3D printing, I'm a huge fan. So if this is your first time seeing me, welcome. Hit the button down below and become a subscriber, please. So right here in my hand is 2.4 uh, nozzles. These are the uh, E3D Revo uh, nozzles. I happen to have a E3D Revo 6 and you know the nice thing about these things is you just unscrew this you know put the new nozzle in and and you're good to go but pause right there. So one thing I discovered by using my caliper and measuring these is the 0.4 is 41.28 millimeters. Okay keep that in mind. The 0.8, which is what I installed on that machine and had all the issues, is a little bit shorter. Uh, it is 41.18 millimeters. So what this did is this messed with the offset I had on my BL touch. And I'll show you here on the screen. So when you're doing a BL touch, you want to make sure that the tip of the BL touch is between 2.3 and 4.3 millimeters. And if you're somewhere on the extreme edge of that, if you go to change a nozzle and don't redo your Z offset, well, you could be in for a surprise. Now, of course, the fix for all this is to, first of all, eyeball it, make sure that you have the proper clearance for both the BL touch and for your nozzle. And the other thing you'll want to do is you'll want to run, if you have a Marlin-based machine, uh, and if you have the current versions of Marlin, what I did is I ran the Z offset wizard, which will lower that nozzle to a certain distance where you manually crank it down, and you can adjust that with a piece of paper as you go. So since then, all is well. But like I said, I had not thought to check that Z offset. And what was happening was my nozzle was crashing into the ground because I had encroached on that distance where the BL touch wasn't quite able to get down there. So I know these are relatively new. A lot of people are getting them. Just want to make sure that you don't have the terrible, awful sounds I had of the hot end trying to make its way down lower and lower and lower. So fortunately, the bed was not damaged and all was well. But do, of course, take that step and check your Z offset. Okay, so this is a really short video, I understand, but that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that if you have these uh, brand new Revo nozzles and you just think that you can just unscrew this and put whatever size you want in there, no, check your Z offset to just make sure. And most of the printers have that wizard built into it if they're Marlin based, so you can do that. So just one more double check so you don't experience the wonderful grinding I experienced. So that's it for this time. I am all over the place on social media. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. I post a lot of shorts because that's where the algorithm is lately. And that's it. I just want you guys to print safe. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool.